Hello everybody, this is Wiregamer, and, ooh, why isn't, why, aren't, why aren't we moving? Uh, we're back with Broken Sword. Um, the reason there is no face cam is because, not because I can't, it's just because it takes too much time to edit for, for me right now. What? What is this? I pushed the switch down, but in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. What? What is that? What is it? Alright. Um. It's because I love to procrastinate, and of course, I waited until the very last moment to record, and everybody's home now. What is this one? Electrical plug attached to the glass washer. Excuse me? A beer. Oh! What? Well, at least the glass washer is still working. It's not my day, is it, is it Larry? Just what happens, I'm an electric- I'm an- I am an electrician. Check out my credentials. Well now, isn't that marvelous? I forget his- I forget his, uh, accent. Here's a house bedeviled with fousy wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. Hmm, I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch my beer pumps. You can make a start by the glass washer. When you finish that, will you- When you finish that, you will take a look at the pumps. Will you take a look at the pumps? Oh my god, I'm so fucking smart! I couldn't see anything obviously wrong with the machine, I feared it must be the wiring. Ow. I used all my knowledge of electrical engineering to examine the plug. I love how he just unplugs it and then plugs it back in. Up. Oh. Um, wait, no. Ah! What? That shouldn't be happening. I thought that was the... Uh, what? Here! What the hell? B. Um, let's put the rag in the washer. The beer rag? Nope! Um, what else? Um, oh. Nope. Oh, uh, I thought I was going to do something. Alright. A match. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. White whiskers on the bartender's flushed face were like garlands on a Christmas tree. The resemblance ended there. The top of his head was too slick and shiny to act as a perch for a Christmas fairy. I just want to talk to him. Ah, uh, forget it. Right. Is there anything else I have? Wire? The other wire. Oh, really? I replaced the fuse with this piece of wire. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. Bingo, and a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. Now, could you... Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? I guess so, but I'm not making any promises. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on my hands. The pumps are in the cellar, right? That's right. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. Yes! Progress! It's always whenever I come back to this game, I just... happen to do something right. And I'm serious. I've not looked up a walkthrough for this. 
I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. Um, anything else in here? Nope. Um, is there a this way? Is there a this way? No. What? I pulled the lever in, and the bolt creaked back into place. My hand closed on the long metal rod. Really? Okay. Let's put it down. He said I would find a flashlight in here, but there is nothing. Um. Like. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, do that. Nope. Uh, beer. Like, there's nothing here. There is nothing here. Uh, that mouse left. I don't know what that mouse is for. Look, the lever's down. Is it working yet? Excuse me? Yes, sir? Nope. Now what do I do? What do I have? Plaster Paris. A beer towel. Matches. Gruber. Electric shock. A nose. A photo. And some fabric. What can I use here? Let's use the fabric. Nope. Um. There's nothing to do. I pulled the lever. I pulled the switch. Let's pull it back up. Pull the lever and the bolt creaked back into place. Nothing here again. He said there was a flashlight down here, but it doesn't appear to be there. Oh, uh, goddammit, I can't say anything else. Hey. Nope. You? Nope. You? Nah. -uh. One last person before I'm just utterly stumped. God damn it. Always has to be ultra hard on me. Once I do something right, nothing else goes my way. <sighs> nothing here to hide. Wait, wait. Go back outside. Now that that's pulled... Uh... YES! Did that just make a fart noise? I lifted the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer rose from the cellar below. I looked down on the stone tiled floor, way too far to jump. Yes, sir? Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my... There was an nasty feeling. Cool. Grammar. Feeling in my guts. I usually associated with light opera. I'm not going to question them. I'm not going to grade them on grammar. That's the first grammar mistake I've seen in this entire game. Oh well. It was con. What's the problem? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate accident. I didn't see anything. What about the boy? He doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, 
you know how it is in these rural communities. Not enough genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. Wow. Nice. So, what was it again? You smashed the bone away, reeling a switch. Like, I can't... Oh, wait. Can I talk to him? No. Do I need to go get a hay bale? Let's go get a hay bale. Um, sure. Or not. Or not. That. Uh, talk to the bartender again. Talk to the. No, go, go around. Talk to the bartender again. Maybe he has something different to say. Um. Excuse me, nope. Anything down here anymore? Ah! Now I could see I spotted Mr. Leary's flashlight easily. That was Caps Lock. Yay! Then I noticed a flash of light, something sparkling beneath the open truck door. It was Pegram's gem, all right, a large, uncut blue stone. As I held it aloft, I realized the fascination it could command. I guess I was already under its spell. Did you find it? What? Where? Whatever you were looking for. Uh, yeah, listen, McGuire, I want you to keep this to yourself. No problemo. Just chuck it, just chuck us up a crate of lager. Lager. No way, you're not old enough. We can sell it and make some cash. Forget it, kid. I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could for sure. That old misery guts deserves it. If you want to do me a favor, keep a lookout for that guy in the suit. Okay, but it'll cost you a pack of the chips. And shout if you see that Ferrari. Well... I think that's about what we should be getting to. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop. I mean, I just broke his washer and beer pumps. I fixed them with a piece of wire and a little switch and all's good and good to go. Across a creek, the coffin spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on dripping. I guess next time we'll get back to the faucet, I guess. Save game. This has been Wargamer, signing out. Goodbye.